Hello guys, I hope you're an amazing week. Mko fit in your water. You're watching movie review. I'm your host Kaniki and this show is sponsored by News on Plaque. Stay tuned. Oh, on the last episode in Kormongia kusu Gronish, Crazy Rich Asians na Heartbreak High cuz it was like Valentine's season so the month of love and lovers and I hope you had an amazing Valentine and you enjoyed it with your loved ones at least maybe you got a gift maybe you got a loved one I mean who knows and guys Milona Super Bowl like Rihanna's performance like it was mwah. it was just amazing una famona we watched and the fact that she's prego again ASAP tunataka your album like there's no way you keep making Rihanna pregnant tunataka kusikiza her music so don't do that so on this episode nitakuwa naongelea kuhusu the kissing both nitaongelea kuhusu after nitaongelea kuhusu Cinderella and many more so the first movie I'll be talking about is the kissing both the kissing both was directed by Vince Marcelo and it was released in 2018 but it's still ongoing so kuna kissing both 1 2 3 na maybe allegedly nimesikia kutakuwa na season 4 so in this kissing both in Antana this girl let her L ako na best friend yake who's a guy and ako na another big brother unjo kuna kuangana ile attraction ya you have a best friend but then the bigger brother is always the hot one i don't know if it's only me but kuna kaleka kakutikana kuvuta with the bigger brother so it's in this case the same they're in high school so it's like a teenage romance high school kind of thing so it ni udem akona u best friend like i said na best friend na brother ake ule mkubwa so they are trying to like raise fundraise money um, for the whole school so they invent this like a kissing booth ni kama so you need explain that okay like you had to pay for your kissing booth so you can kiss someone else but the money ni liko na patikana yote liko na kwa the school fundraising so with this movie on this episode ndako naongelea tu kuhusu like the bad things i didn't like about the movie so let's start there in this movie unapata hakuna plot there wasn't like the plot of the movie like where was the plot going to then this guy alikuwa so toxic to L like the the taller hot boyfriend mwenye kila mtu alikuwa anamtaka shule is like the cool guy mwenye every girl wants him and all everything like everyone is just like oh my god that's my crush and whatever ni 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 so he was so toxic to L the fact that ni gonna shanga like this is not the type of movie I'd like maybe a teenage girl kwenda kuona cuz what are they portraying this whole movie like i didn't like that at all i also didn't like when it was so predictable like you, you could know like this one as a kujapenda na huyu mara si juu best friend yake alikuwa anamkufia chini ya maji alikuwa anamtaka a lot of things like ni gonna shanga like where is this all going to ni gonna pata like the director's they stretch this movie so like so bad unapata kuna kissing both one two na three and all of them have the same like plot and notion unashanga like inaenda wapi storyline inaenda wapi like the characters when you were like like they were so fed up to be acting this but you need to pay your bills so they of course lazima tu ange act in this whole like thing then one of the like famous actors wako kwa hii ni Jacob Elordi mwenye kwa kwa euphoria so he's an amazing actor here and also kuna other actors kama Joy King she has acted in a lot of movies so there's also that it was rumored they were dating so you can imagine that tension dating in the same like dating your colleague mom going the same set and you're dating kuna that like chemistry no nekana on and off screen but then we could break up so you imagine how awkward that was i think we'll break up if cast is on 3 so that was just so awkward because look on like chemistry was so off because now they are exes and they have to act as lovers in this whole movie so that was just awkward in so many ways and again the characters have no any development like kuna pata uyu her grow a learn from her mistakes and what not like this is not a film I like tell someone to go and watch like i didn't like it but maybe everyone has his own or her opinion so mnaweza mwenda mwi watch mniambe kwaje like kwa comment section mnaweza niambia maybe nilikosea kitu maybe i don't like this type of movies cuz nile trope ya big brother anapenda na na best friend yako who's a girl you marry a best friend yako anampenda chini ya maji like that kind of trope so i give it a 4 out of 10 like on netflix you guys should go and watch it maybe mniambia kwa comments if you liked it or not So 
So the next movie I'll be talking about inaitwa After. So msikia After from Wattpad like when you na penda kusoma Wattpad then smart ni magic card wajui. So from Wattpad ikakuja like ika tengenezwa into a movie. So imagine what you've been reading kwa Wattpad then inakuja like in real life like you see the characters like the characters were brought to life. So I loved that and also it was released in 2019 but also kuna after after hiyo kwanza kuna after we collided after siju we were together. That is just a bit of a stretch. Like I said, the director is Jenny Gig. So this movie starts with this girl and in a I mean, a high school and in a college ni ule mtoto mwenye anasoma anga vizuri, ana tii wazazi wake na kuna ka high school sweetheart mwenye sali acha cuz the boyfriend is still in high school but yes sasa ameenda like college. But then anafika college and ona everything she ever believed is not the same. Like it's kind of like when you grow initially kuanga when you look unafikira like this is going to happen in college. I'm not going to partner in a love interest or tatu anakutaka. No, no, nothing nothing you tamaliza your four years with no one having interest in you cuz that is all the same thing that happens in the movies and yet akuja happen like in real life specifically in Kenya that i don't think that happens at all so everything that this girl knew ilikuja kujeka change then on up to this hot guy and it was Hardin Scott this hot guy he's a bad boy let me call it a bad let me call him a bad boy when you climb to shule and i'm talking it's like a cool mysterious guy akona tattoos flani ni ni he's hot and have mostly black and you know that color like attraction but then he's into like poetry so he likes reading books and do the uh, and like uh anything concerning poetry books so that was one thing in common between like Tessa and Hardin so in this movie like i said nitakuwa naongelea kuhusu the the interview like in the bad side i didn't like this movie ilianza tu vizuri cuz mimi being a watchpad fan nilipenda venye ilikuwa like brought to life kuna hiyo but then ulipata like the story iko so stretched like plot at a nothing but but this girl she she's a good girl so she's supposed to be a good girl and you afanya this bad boy akuwa the good person ama like she's supposed to tame this guy like siku penda when you na portray you like why would a girl have to be like the good person and you also happen and the bad boy and you some time akuwa the good boy or whatever like i think mna get when you nasema then had you know so toxic akuwa nataka like she hangs out with friends akuwa nataka like anaskia anyone clo- any male being or close to her and akuwa like overreactive uh, and i never react to the situation like at and pay space and what not but then like they have this like love hate relationship but they also like kind to each other but also they're so bad for each other so skupenda siku pana like if movie when you like what is where where is the movie heading where is the storyline like what is why is this happening mbona udem like atuonyesha akiwa class junlona like since mbili akiwa to class siku ona like when you like onyesha cuz when the movie like na nzali kuna sema like ni mtu anapenda kusoma na anapenda kuhusu studying and whatever so i i thought like the movie tonyesha like had been in school had doing this doing this type of projects and whatever unapata friends were hard and walikuwa also toxic to her like walikuwa na mchongwa chini ya maji like imagine this guy I go my bed with his best friends kuona kama Tessa atangia box yake or not like who even does that that is just a red flag tuanze tu hapo red flag he's toxic although it's hard so kuna vile na na confuse kidogo but i didn't i didn't like the movie like the notion in inapatia like a girl then it's such a stretch like why would you have like four movies having the same like plot like inafaa ku change inafaa yonyesha ni like story ya hardin when alikuwa ama like maybe some other things some traumatic thing that happened and maybe like he became like maybe kulikuwa na character development maybe he became a good person maybe he tried to rectify what he did wrong and what not so they never did anything with this so i give it a 4 out of 10 a 4 out of 10 iko netflix guys mwende mu watch mna make comments if you liked it ama ni mimi sijui kuhusu hizo vitu like mwende mwende mu watch mun show So on the next movie I'll be talking about it on Mobius. Mobius is a like Marvel comic based movie. It was released in 2022 and it was directed by Daniel Espinosa. So this movie clearly being like in a Marvel cinematic universe. Una expect this movie to kona saka zem CJ to kwa amazing like the plot to kwa amazing to ngia like kusu when this mo- this superheroes and they from when you like kwa dogo before kwa kwa superheroes like their back story when you villain and announce and like he has a like a kona reason why he wants to maybe do this or that with this whole world to destroy this and that like I was expecting the same thing in this cuz it's a Marvel like comic 
based movie because mimi mwenyewe ni mtu wa Marvel so I was expecting that but no it wasn't that at all like ulikuwa unapata vitu zingine zenye unexpect kwa Marvel haziko kwanza the fact that we're going to force nini like the Marvel universe into the whole movie mara na try kuweka references kwa hii and that like ilikuwa like false advertising cause kwa trailer ilikuwa nafanyika like so cool like kuna sema i need to go and watch this movie at least unaona na reference venom spiderman posters ziko kwa hiyo movie so you are expecting like it's going to be an amazing thing but then una fika kwa movie na watch it's nothing of the sort like they they just they just lied to us to, through the trailer cause trailer ilikuwa like so captivating so catch you feel na i need to go and watch this but kuna fika but it's nothing kama hiyo then una pale like akukua na nini umobius who was like a sick uh, scientist or slash doctor so like akaji inject na this uh, let me call it a bat vampire need injection or something so me i was expecting cuz so no japanese spider man and and shoot webs evil so i was expecting cuz ali jidunga hiyo and atakuwa na the same like characters am i like the same powers that abat has maybe supervision and do this or that yeah he had those but why mona alifanya unge like he was so skinny and akakata at like pass out and die but then after jidunga that, that injection all of a sudden he's buff he has abs he looks so nice like so can understand like bad so na kwanga na hiyo nini like hiyo okay i don't know what i'm going to call it but una kwanga na hiyo feature like do bad bad so na kwanga meunga cuz maybe si kwanga understand why they did that to the 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 superhero in this whole film then una pata like they just made up a villain like una fa kwanza back story a villain ka joker when maybe uh, the why he caused him to do this and that but this ilikuwa like best friend yake alikuwa na the same disease he had cuz ilikuwa like a blood infection or whatever kama hiyo so nilikuwa nadhani like what a try to after villain when yako na back story maybe ali try to ku, say that this doctor kata kumsikia maybe a cure yanga li mistreat or anything unapata aiko hivyo like the villain aliokoto tu somewhere to make sure he's the villain in this movie like there's nothing I was connected. Then there's this also this Kagala ka, ka like on hospital. Una pata ni kona expect otambia na kuhusu the whole story where she's sick, if she got cured, if she became like better, if she even passed away. Well, it's not a story for like it was just done. Then the jokes were so dry, dry. And when I mean dry, I mean dry. Like I got funny jokes in this. And the fact that one of the famous actors in this and it was Jared Leto I think me sema poa mwenye alikuwa ameact kwa suicide squad as the joker me nilipa na performance yake kwa suicide squad so i thought he's going to be, like have the same acting in this but i don't feel he gave it his best so kuna hiyo pia and also plot ako kwa na plot like why why would you kill why would you kill people in the name of trying to save the whole world cuz like yeah he's a bad so he needs like uh, human blood and whatever but then why would you go around killing people like so na fact after like a thing a man to do thing it's funny like you don't kill people cuz in the same case when takatuk say the other people like i couldn't make sense like i think wali wali fanya wali feel so proud which is okay to be proud like you're in the same MCU but then I got the same like they just forced everything onto it and then I pay a four of ten cuz pia CGI kwa poa sana then even the fighting scene like watu kwa uko naona vizuri like wana fight hapo unajua kuna zile like movies unaona like every like swing every sijui nini nini unaona huwa amepigwa hivi hivi na hivi akukua na anything kama hiyo it was just it was just bad 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 and i give it a four of ten na zana we watch muniambe kwa comments section kaili wa bamba ama iko bamba And with that we'll go on a short commercial break. We'll be right back. Alien ni kwa mongea kuhusu Mobius, uh, the Kissing Booth na after. And now I'm going to dive into Cinderella. Ukisikia Cinderella, what's the first thing you think about? Ile cartoon ama animation ile watching ikiwa mtoto kitambo so kulikuwa na hiyo nostalgia, nostalgia. Um, ni correct kwa comments nostalgia so it was released in 2021 and it was directed by K Canon so this movie been Cinderella look one expect like it akuwa amazing cuz uh, from when you grow up look one other like the, all the uh, all the scenes all the scenes that they happen kwa animation ama cartoon stuff were, like brought into life in this like how to every single bit ama if they want to like to re- remake this whole movie like what afanye kwa different but the same storyline and plot itakuwa the same so that's what I expected but no 
Mm -mm. Ata kama wali try kufanya Camila Cabello kwa basement ya stepmother wake na likuwa na make dresses and she sells them for a living. So siku na understand the essence where, where alienda kwa your ball like where she lost the glass slipper then she was running away. Like why? Si stepmother wako wajia kukazia Ivo siju wendo fanya chores. Why were you, why were you running away? Like unaturoku nendo wapi? Why are you running? Hmm? Why are you running? And siku waleo in that unaza katiwa na prince ukataya kuingia box. Ati wanu tengeneze nguo. Okay, it's okay to have your own like passions and dreams and careers, but really, to kwe realistic apa like, girl, like, un anyways, so kuna, kuna also that fact, but also nilipana wali track who make it the, the music they sang because it was a musical, like on Netflix, mwana mwe watch, mwana mwe vanye, mwana mwe ili wabamba, maiku, wabamba. So on the next movie ndo kona fanya, ni itwa Teen Wolf, the movie. Similar to Teen Wolf, like it was the first Teen Wolf, I think it was released in, is it 2017? Kumekua na Teen Wolf, season 1, 2, 3, evo, evo, evo. But sasa in the movie, it was released in 2023, this year. And it was directed by this guy, and it was Russell McClay. So kusikia the word Teen Wolf, what comes to your mind? Styles, because Styles was like the most intriguing and amazing and the most important character in this movie. But guess what, guys? I can't quite this movie. Like, I can't quite movie. Like, why would they remove st styles from this whole Teen Wolf? Daniel can carry the whole show on his back. Like, why would you? Why would you not include him in this? But also, then Dylan or Brian, manye like an actor's style, say manye li sema hata kuwa part of this Teen Wolf because I feel like manye li achia. That's the way it's supposed to be left. But I feel then it likuwa like Teen Wolf movie likuwa like what if scenario? Like what if? Tyler did this. What if the other girl resurrected? I'm what if this guy had powers? I'm at this the alpha like I'm toy. Like it looked a lot of like what if this happened. But I feel like they were trying to like impress the audience, some of the fans when you're not on a tin wolf, but also they did it so wrong. Kwanza na the fact that ni mko na mangu lea before and also like ulikuwa na pata it was just a stretch like I didn't feel ni ni ulikuwa the I didn't feel the need of them making another Teen Wolf movie I just didn't like it then ulikuwa na expect like storyline ni kwa the same the it was just unnecessary ni ni suspense ama like kuna pata it was just plot twists ziko too unnecessary like kuna treku ku capture the audience ku treku revive the Teen Wolf ni ni no show na ma hizo terms so the Teen Wolf make season one, two, three, and what not. But I feel they did so bad with it. Sick we penda, honestly, guys. Although then, I think Juni mezo kona kina Twilight, kina original some of vampires. Nuko mezo ama legacies. Nuko mezo ya like when someone is a wolf, they turn into full wolf. But they, then in this scene, siku penda vanye like they are running in fours. Like me, I kuni bamba. Like why? It's either you hibernate to be a whole wolf, ama like just transform to be a whole. Wolf, but to see Kim be on your falls, that was just awkward for me. Me siku pena the fact that ilikuwa iva. I think ni juni mezoya like when there are wolves in this like whole, um, let me call it fantasy. So you gonna expect to turn into wolf, but they didn't. So you can just know you may didn't like that fact. Then I feel like the actors how kuwa like how kuwa to me ilikuwa me actors was ngin like kuna ile kuna ile feeling yeye ukiona most of the actors umezoea kuona like from a young age ama like umekuwa fan wow since season one and zema ama the first episode ukuna feel kuna ile ya he still got this he still has the acting skills siku feel like it was the same in this case i feel like they tried to force it to make the fans happy ama like the people who are interested in teen wolf so i didn't like it although the cgi pia kuna vile they tried but I don't, I don't think one is of KMCU. I don't think. I'm a other good movies. I don't think they can come out like everything everywhere all at once. Like, I don't think one is of come the same level. But of course, they tried with the acting and everything. But honestly, me meaning Geolizo, I'm not penda. Not penda at all. So I give it, let me give it a 5 out of 10. And uh, it called Netflix. Munezenda mui watch, munisho. And the next movie ndo kona fanya ni itwa Tom and Jerry. It was released in 2021 and it was directed by Tim Story na iko HBO. This movie, okay, ni Tom and Jerry the movie. So so majua kitambo vunye Tom and Jerry likuwa nga like that kapaka and kapanya, zinashina zikimizana, kuna this and that. Nilikuwa nasikia, kulikuwa na lot of theories that like Tom, Tom alikuwa napenda wangaivo at all. 
I didn't like it at all. Then nilikuwa nafanya next one kutoa kitambo mke wa toyo mko next back venye Tom and Jerry na shina kikimzana nini nini. I thought it's going to be the same here although they tried to put that in siya mafania so it was it was amazing and depend on the fact that the editing nilikuwa napata hata kama like the cartoon form so it's an elephant the shadow ilikuwa inaonekana in the real world. So I like I like I love that about the movie and it was so interesting it was like I honestly I enjoyed it but also there are those two key points to nyenye mention but mnaweza nyenye kwa comment sections if comment section if you are bamba or not and I give this a 5 out of 10 na mwana mwa kwa HBO mnaambia venye ilikuwa if ilikuwa iliwape the same vibes as ile cartoon ya kitambo ama animation ama ilikuwa like different from it mwana mwa mwana mniambia And with that don't forget to follow like share subscribe and comment to all our social media platforms at news and black ae bye